everybody and welcome back to Art à la carte. As an artist it can be challenging at times to visualize a picture and when that happens to me I always go back to a reference photo or reference photos. One of my favorite sites to use for online reference photos is graphicsdot.com. In fact they've already been a video sponsor here on my channel and if you don't remember that video it was so fun. I had you guys go through and choose a photo for me to use and then I had to create a picture using the photo that you challenged me with and now graphicsdot has come up with their own challenge for me. It's the creator to creator hashtag challenge. For this challenge I get to choose whatever photos I want from their site and then create a piece using those photos as either a reference or a photo base. Once I finish it then I can share that photo across social media using the hashtag creator to creator. Now this isn't something just for me or a certain group of artists. This is open for anybody who wants to participate in their creator to creator hashtag and in fact to help you guys out they have given me a special link which I will have in the description box of this video that will give you a free seven day trial of graphic stock. One thing that I really like about graphic stock is is that once you have a membership with them you have access to over 350,000 images. So if I lack inspiration for what to create browsing through their content can really give me a boost. So if you've never checked out graphicstock.com definitely check out the link and try this challenge out for yourself. Graphicstock isn't just trying to be this company supplying great resources for artists but are also trying to find ways to connect artists with other artists that enjoy the same kind of things. So by searching out the hashtag creator to creator you have the opportunity to meet so many new artist friends. Okay so on to my personal challenge. I had it in my mind that I wanted to do another hedgehog picture. Last year I created this fun kind of rainbow hedgehog and I absolutely adore it and I wanted to create kind of a companion piece to that but I didn't want to do kind of the same thing. One of my friends got this really fun cactus and I thought oh, wouldn't it be so much fun if I did a hedgehog but instead of putting little prickly spines on his back that he had like a cactus back which sounded kind of weird and I wasn't exactly sure how it would look and that's where the reference photos from graphic stock really came in handy. I found a couple of really good hedgehogs and so many different cactus pictures and after I saved a couple of different images I opened them up on Photoshop and kind of merged them all together. Now I'm not going to go into the details on how I did this. If you have any questions you can definitely ask me in the comment section below and I'll try maybe to explain it or I'll create a video where I show you step by step how I do that. But I finally got the piece and it was so cute. Like I would so love a little plushy hedge cactus, cactus hog. I don't know. What would you call it? I don't know. It's so cute though. So after I got the kind of image in my brain and saw how it really does work, then I jumped over to my art table. I'm sketching this piece out on some hammer mill 100 pound weight cardstock and I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a mixed media with this piece. So after sketching it down with my color pencils, then I laid in my base flat color with Copic markers. Now you guys know I love to mix up my art supplies together and I find that Copic markers and color pencils work amazing together. Always put your Copic markers colors down first and then once you're happy with your base color then you can go in over top of that and start adding in the color pencil work. Color pencils love to sit on top of Copics but not so much the other way around. Now the color pencils that I use are Prismacolors. I do have some Faber-Castells but I don't think I used any in this piece and I'm speeding this piece up really fast because if you guys watched a previous video of mine where I talked about color pencil work I let you guys know color pencil work is slow and time consuming. It is not a fast art thing and I wanted to go with a semi-realistic picture. I mean obviously a cactus hedgehog hedge cactus hogtus hogtus hedgedus. Anyway it's not going to be super realistic and I wasn't going to try to go totally for it but I wanted kind of a really fun illustrated look not cartoony but kind of picture book looking I guess. So I spent a lot of time very meticulously adding in the shading and the texture for the fur around the face and then the blending of the actual cactus. I wanted the cactus to kind of have that smooth kind of waxy look to it where the hedgehog himself was fluffy and cute. I had at first considered drawing in the spines at the beginning. I knew it would be really hard to keep that highlighted area clean so really early on I decided I would just go back in with some acrylic paint and just paint in the the spines of the cactus itself. 
I use a super fine tip brush, a line brush, and your line brushes are going to have a very fine point, but also really long bristles, and that allows you to drag your, your brush out and just get this really delicate line. And line brushes are probably my favorite of all of my brushes. Love line brushes. The nice thing about using acrylic paint, which I just use some basic acrylic paint. I didn't have anything fancy. I think it was just like craft acrylic paint that I had, which still works great for me. Once you lay the acrylic paint down and it fully dries, you can go back over top of it with your color pencils and add any additional shading or highlighting to that as well, which works really nice because I would put so much color pencil work onto the paper and had burnished it. I was having a hard time kind of working that color in. So being able to put it on top of the acrylic paint worked great. So at the end, this piece turned out cuter than I thought it was going to be. And I still can't wait to get some prints of this as well as stickers. I, I think it'd be so cute. So if you're interested in picking up your own hedge kiss, tuss, if you want your own print of this, I'll have links to my online shops where you can go and pick up your own little cute little prickly porcupine hedgehog cactus cutie. And of course in the description box is also the link to get your own free seven day membership to graphicstock.com. And I'd also like to give a big thanks to graphicstock.com for sponsoring this video. It helps me to continue to create great content for you. Check out the hashtag creator to creator. Check out the seven day trial because I want to see what you guys make as well. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys. Keep creating and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.